Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be installing a wig from Eunice Hair. They sent me a V-Part Deep Wave wig. And I'm kind of excited because I have not tried a Deep Wave V-Part wig ever. And I don't know how many times I've tried Deep Wave hair in my life. A lot. I'll probably say maybe like two times. So I have the wig for you guys. I did not do anything to it. I just took it straight out of the box and this is what it is looking like it kind of got a little messed up and frazzled a little bit for me just like having it everywhere but look at how pretty these curls these curls are over. like they're so pretty like i'm saying like i was saying this is a v part and as we can see my hair is like braided up and i'm not about to take my braids down because I just got in Brady yesterday just to like do all these videos I need to do and just to get my hair in some type of style where I don't have to like mess with it every day because I'm just just trying to stay out of my head. We're gonna be doing this no leave out way. Now as you know with V-Part wigs you can do minimal leave out or you can do no leave out. Recently I've just been doing no leave out because I have not been putting heat on my hair. Um, I don't want to straighten my hair. I'm just like letting my hair be because I went months of straightening my hair and I just want to let my hair relax. With no leave out, you're not going to get like the most natural look. So I just want you guys to be aware that you're not going to have like the most supernatural look with no leave out. If you wanted to look supernatural like a sew in or something or just like like it's your hair, I would advise you to do minimal leave out. I have done videos where I do minimal leave out with B part wigs, but this one is not going to be like that. So if you want it to look supernatural, as natural as you can get it, I suggest you do leave out. It doesn't have to be a lot minimal. Also, my hair does not curl like this. So I would have had to put heat on my hair to make it curl like a curling iron or something. So I just didn't want to do that. And I don't have flexi rods, so I'm not going to do it that way, but I don't have flexi rods. Let's go ahead and get into it because I know this is going to be super quick because V-Par wigs are like this quickest, easiest wigs to put on. I'm going to have everything down below for you guys, like the density of this wigs. I don't want to say the density and the length and I'd be wrong. So everything will be down below for you to check it out. So I'm going to start by putting this wig cap on just to like minimize the snagging from the combs. Cause they hurt, especially when you have your hair braided. Oh, they hurt when they get like caught in your braids. So I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna do it like that. I do feel like this is gonna work way better than having your hair in a bun because the braids you're gonna keep it from slipping. I struggle with all the time when I do my V part wigs is my clips like slipping because there's nothing for it to like grip on. So my braids are good and tight. Also, it does come with an elastic band, but I took mine out. It has like these little like hooks so you can like take it on and off. And you can also adjust it like this, like a bra strap. Can y'all see that? To make it looser or tighter. Can you see? Yeah. So that's it on my head. Now let me see how close I want to bring it. I want to put it pretty close to my hairline. So I'm just going to take those clips and unclip them. And the key is to like have your part showing so that it looks like a part basically. Let me see because that might be too far. So this is what it's looking like. So as you can see, it does look a bit wiggy because like I said, I don't have any um any leave out. So let me just 
Okay. So that's about as natural looking as it's gonna get. I really just wanna like fluff it up. Okay, let me just like fluff it up first and then we're gonna go in and add some mousse. Just to kind of tame it a bit, this curl pattern is so pretty. Oh my god, that is so pretty. I just want it to be kind of big. I'm not going to cut it or anything either, I don't think. Let me not speak too soon because I might change my mind. So let's just go in with some mousse and just kind of like get the top. This is the side that's pretty tamed, and then this is the side that I haven't done anything to. So, we're just gonna go ahead and do this side. I didn't want to completely soak the hair because I didn't want it to take a long time to dry. So, this is what it's looking like. I need to do my edges so that it looks a little bit more natural. This is the hair with my edges done. I said I did not wet it too much just because I didn't want it to be too soaking wet. And I wanted you guys to see what you would get because I didn't really want to wait for it to dry. But as you can see, the curl does kind of loosen up. So this is not, this did not get wet. So you can see it's kind of tighter. And then this is what it looks like after it's been wet. It has like a more looser okay i just think this looks so cute like even without the leave out it just looks so cute to me like i love how big and thick the hair is so i just went ahead and looked it up for you guys so you guys don't like having like dig through the description box this wig is 24 inches and 150 percent density i would have guessed this was like 200 this is thick to be 150 maybe it's because it's curly or wavy but this is different like i've never this is like like when i say this is thick but yeah that's everything y'all that's everything this is so pretty i'm gonna have all the links down below for you guys the link to eunice's website and i'm going to have a link to my depop although i might not be selling this week but i'm still gonna link my depop for the ones that don't know my depop or didn't know i do sell my wigs on depop the wigs that i do my videos on they go on my head and then they go straight to depop so i'm gonna have them on depop for you guys thank you guys so much for watching if you're not subscribed why are you not subscribed please subscribe Please. this video a thumbs up if you liked it if you like this hair texture thank you guys so much for watching and i will talk to you guys next time